Good morning, guys, from the Russian city of Astrakhan, here on the northern banks of the Caspian Sea. I'm walking along the walls of the town's Kremlin. Kremlins were fortifications that the Russians built when they conquered the southern steppe land. They built them because this place was populated by wild tribes. And it's one of those wild tribes we're going to visit today. We're going to make our way now to the Buddhist Republic of Kalmykia, populated by the descendants of the Mongols. Let's go and check it out. Здравствуйте. О, спасибо. Пожалуйста. Ну еще пока рано, спасибо говорить. Еще не доехали. Ну это правда. Но я я у меня сверность в вам, если можно так сказать на русском. Хорошо. To save myself the hassle of what happened the other day in Makhachkala of finding the bus and not finding the bus station, blah blah blah, I'm taking a taxi straight from. Astrakhan to the border with Kalmykia. Let's just get to the border and then from there we'll find some more transport going onwards. This is the road to Kalmykia. Еще раз, брат. Спасибо вам большое. Было очень интересно. Удачи на дорогу домой. Спасибо. Давайте. Bye bye, taxi. Whoa, I've been dropped off in the middle of nowhere on the border with Kalmykia. Check it out. The old, a word I'm determined not to say today, but the old Soviet sign, which welcomes you to the Republic of Kalmykia. Look up there, there's Lenin. It still says something ASSR, which stood for something. And there's a couple of Kalmyk people. Wow, let's touch it. Wow, check it out. I love it. Wow, my God, how bloody, how bloody awesome is that? All right, I want you guys to be with me when I take my first step in the Republic of Kalmykia. <laughs> Here's the sign. Beyond this sign is it. Are you ready? Let's go to Kalmykia. We're in Kalmykia. I think I'm in trouble with the old bill as soon as I got to Kalmykia. Здравствуйте. Что ты плохо сделал? Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Что случилось? Ничего. Все хорошо. Куда едем? Первый город или деревня в вашей республике? Документ? Блин, давай. Откуда? He's Anglia. Pass me to Pekasta. Wow, I've been arrested already. A Pierre, how do you like it? Da Pierre, the derby. Sorok, very good. And how do you like it? Kulkuta. Kulkuta. Kalkata. Kulkuta. Wow, Kalkata. Kulkuta. Kulkuta. Yeah. We're going to Kulkuta. Okay. Jay Bolaki. So it's normal. So normal. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Stranded in Kalmykia, name of the film. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. I'm stranded. This video has not got off to the best start. <laughs> stranded on the bloody border of Kalmykia. Oh man. There's literally nothing down that way coming in my direction. Could be a long wait. I'm not giving up because I believe in the greatness of the Russian people. And I know that the Russian people would not let a tourist be stranded on the road. I guarantee you within the next three cars, I will be picked up. That's how much faith, how much belief I have in the Russian people. You watch, next three cars. Car number one, this guy's gonna pick me up. Yes, no. Okay, car number one, no. Let's wait for car number two. There's a truck on the horizon. This truck is gonna pick me up. The brotherhood of the open road, don't let me down. Never leave a... 
Never leave a man stranded. Come on, please. All right, the final car. Come on, car number three. Don't let me down, Russian people. Prove to the world of YouTube how bloody nice you are, like I'm always saying. Совсем пиздец! Not sure what to do, guys. Just hang out here or walk to the first village, which is 40 kilometers away, Calcutta. Ah, man. I suppose we just start walking. Right, let's go back into Kalmykia together. You ready? And hoppa! The white converse have arrived. What a legend! What a legend! Первый деревни в Калмыкии республика. Правда? Спасибо вам большое. Ой! Спасибо! Welcome to Hulhota. Let's go and check it out. First time in a Kalmyk village. Walk in the road into Kulkhota. Just like so many Kalmyks before me. Just had to come and have a look at this abandoned larder in someone's back garden. Wow, what a place. And I get the feeling that people like to drink in Kalmykia. Whoa. Oh. It's a little bit desolate here. <laughs> Check it out, an old abandoned, an old abandoned house. I'm not gonna say it. Wow, that was their kitchen. Wow. I wonder why everything's abandoned here. Look, the old truck. The old random bit of fence that's been left. The rest has been sold for scrap probably. Wow, what a place. Even the telegraph wires are just broken. And where is everyone? One o'clock in the afternoon and no one here. Just some dogs in the distance checking me out. But they seem friendly. Let's carry on exploring. I'm a little bit on edge here, to be honest with you. It's just got this weird abandoned feeling to it. Look, the old abandoned, it's like something from Mad Max. The old abandoned Soviet trucks, that giant dog over there. That fortunately is tied up. Whoa. What a rough part of Russia. Just feels like some post-apocalyptic world that I've stumbled onto. Sorry if I'm not giving um, very good banter right now. But <laughs> my mind's gone into survival mode. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how to get to the other side of the village without getting either torn apart by a giant dog or maybe just kept as a sex slave by some cow mix. <laughs> this is a perfect place to keep a sex slave. <laughs> Who would ever find you in a basement here? Jesus.
Wow. Is it abandoned? I presume it is. Just imagine before there would have been larders parked up here and Volgas, people from the regions would have come and parked up and gone to the local shop. And now look at the local shop. Let's get out of Russia's creepiest village. Whoa. Bye bye, Hulkota. You were absolutely delightful. I see some kind of big old obelisk thing, about two clicks in the distance. Let's, um, let's go and check it out. Might be interesting. Might be something historical. Or it might just be an abandoned building. I can't tell. Let's have a look. The good thing about the wilds of Kalmykia is you don't have to worry about being run over when you cross the road. <laughs> no chance of that out here. All right, let's climb up to what is, in fact, I think, a Soviet war memorial. Let's go and check it. Whew. Before we climb the steps to check that out, let's have a look at this bus stop, because it's a perfectly preserved example of a mosaic. Look at it. Wow, what is it? Oh, OK, look. Here are the bombers coming over, and the tanks. And here are the dates of the battles in Elista, the capital, the capital of Kalmykia. Kalmykia on the 13th of August. In Khulkhuta, where we are now, where we just left, on the 31st of August, there was a battle. And these are the front lines. And these are the surrounding lines. And these are the arrows showing which way the soldiers were going, the armies. Wow. We're not far from Stalingrad, from Volgograd now, of course. But, um... So the Germans and the Soviet troops faced off across this steppe land in these villages. I can only imagine, I can only imagine the horrors that went on in these villages out here on the steppe during the battles. Okay, so have a look up here. It's a memorial to the people who died between 41 and 45, the war. And up there, if you can make it out, I hope you can, is our first piece of contact with the local language, the Kalmyk language, which is so closely related to, um, to Mongolian. What this memorial isn't saying is what happened to the Kalmyk people after the war in 1943, when the Germans were defeated in this region, Stalin rounded up the Kalmyk people and he exiled them to Siberia, to Kazakhstan and places like that, out to the wilds. The entire nation, like so many peoples in the former Soviet Union, like the Chechens, like the Ingush, were just sent thousands of miles from home. Many of them never made it there and even more of them never returned to their homeland. Спасибо большое. А следующее посолик есть? Да, вот так. Да? Вот так. Хорошо. Есть там в магазине или что-то? Да, есть. Вода, очень хочу вода. Спасибо. Так ты очень веселый человек. Ну а что? А что жизнь ничего надо? Дочка есть, сын есть. Что еще надо? Хорошо. Что еще надо? Больше ничего не надо жить. Wow, what a lovely gentleman. He's dropped me off at the cafe Smack. Smack my bitch up. Smack my cafe up. Let's check it out, the cafe Smack, in the middle of nowhere. Здравствуйте. Что у вас сейчас вкусно? Вам первое, второе. Давайте оба. Давайте харчо. И второе, что у вас сейчас второе? Котлеты, пельмени. Давайте вкусные. котлеты с пурем. Ага. Хорошо? И чуть ага. соус. As I tuck into my food, I'll tell you, like, I've got here harcho soup. 
two cutlets and mashed potato, two bits of bread and a um, aloe vera and it came to 400 rubles. 400 rubles is about £4.50, $5. So um, not bad. Bile vkusne, Ksati. Bile vkusne. Spasiba. Do zidanja. Oh, back onto the open road of Kalmykia. Bye bye, Cafe Smack. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, that was lucky. I was picked up by a guy from a southern republic called Cabardino Balcaria. And he just gave me a beer. What an absolute legend. Well, I've been dropped off on the mean streets of El Easter, on the outskirts anyway. Check out these apartment buildings. Wow. Welcome to El Easter. At least they're on a Thursday night. This is a little bit grim around here, but the outskirts are always grim. I'm sure the centre is very nice. But this is how people live in Elisa on the outskirts, old Soviet apartments. Check them out. Still standing, still going strong. They've got air conditioning units because in the summertime here, it gets up to 50 degrees or something. So a lot of the apartments will have air conditioning units. Look at those little tiny balconies. Little tiny balconies. Remind me of the balconies in my hotel in Siktivka. That almost collapsed when I stood on it. The rest of That was a real Kalmykian, that old babushka. Someone told me there's a marshrutka that goes straight to a hotel in the centre. So let's see. God, it's cold. The rest of God, it's cold. These are the exciting things that you can have experience to you in the provinces of Russia. Waiting at Marshrutka stops when it's bloody freezing. Oh, come on, Marshrutka. Trump on a hotel. I just pass one up there, the Hotel Elista. Hopefully it's Soviet. У вас есть свободные номер? Да, свободный. Одноместный. Люкс три. Только люкс есть? Нет, одноместный тоже есть. Одно место я хочу, самый дешевый. Это сколько это будет? Сколько? 1200. Хорошо. Checked in. The poor lady has to scan literally every page of my passport. Some cities make you do that. It's going to take her an hour. Fourth floor. Going up. This room cost me 1,200 rubles a night, which I think is 15 quid. Um, so let's check out what you get for 15 quid. Wow, nice pink. All right then, we're off to room number 418. 418, let's check it out. What does 15 quid get you in the capital of Kalmykia? 418, what's behind this wooden door? My journey is finally over, thank God. Dun, dun, dun. 15 quid gets you in Kalmykia. Oh! Gets you a TV, gets you a fridge, gets you a nice single bed, gets you a, um, a kettle, little bedside lamp, and a nice picture of a horse on the step. Let's check out the bathroom, that's always important. And it gets you a toilet, and it gets you a shower come bath thing. <laughs> 15 quid. Travel in the Russian provinces. 
Well, guys, I think um, I think that's it for today. We've had a nice little adventure. I've enjoyed it. It's been tough, but I've enjoyed it. Hopefully you did too. And um, we'll see what lies in store tomorrow in the capital of Kalmykia. Until next time. Cheerio. 15 quid. Bloody bargain. <laughs>